conversation, right? This is why we're in a circle. This is why we're here to um, be receptive of one another, right? Um, so when I immediately said that I wanted to center the voices of the most marginalized of our communities, I said that is black and brown trans people. Immediately the space was taken upon white trans folks. This is no shade, this is no disrespect. The space was also taken by ally folks. This is very important, your voices are, are important too, and they should be heard. But we should center the space around the voices of this bill that infringes upon the most marginalized. So with that being said, as a trans woman of color, and then my friend Holden here, we can show some love for Holden. Physical and sexual 
violence, poverty, incarceration, homelessness experienced by transgender people of color. Trans and queer people of color demand a living wage and freedom from criminalization and discrimination in the workplace and in the bathroom. Tonight we are calling upon a special session of the people, oh, of the people outside of Charlotte. Sorry, if that's a sort of moderate, uh, modify this. Uh, for Blake Brockington and Angel Alicia Walker. For all black and brown trans queer people in North Carolina who have been murdered, disappeared, or incarcerated. It is our duty to speak. It is our duty to demand freedom, to demand a living wage, to demand education, to demand comprehensive, uh, comprehensive health care that is accessible and free of charge.